Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. It is a motivational manifestation Monday. Hello, and all somebody. of us have had experiences where we have motivated someone or someone motivated us. But how often have you seen the fruit of that motivation? Mm. So ladies, have you had the experience of where you've seen someone glow up or you've glowed up, or is that the right, is that the right word? No. I think that's Or you've, a, yeah, glowed up after mm -hmm. somebody has, <laughs> has poured, poured into, into you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any experience that you want to talk about? I actually have both. Okay. Um, I, I, I told this story one other time before. It's okay, new, just, new viewers. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say it again. Um, but there were, was a young lady who I went to school with, and you know, this was high school, and she was um, being bullied. Uh, she did not feel valued. She even thought she was ugly. Mm. Mm. And um, I remember walking into the restroom and she was on the floor just in tears, mm -hmm. on the floor crying. And uh, I then, of course, you know, who's going to ignore that? You right. know. And I asked her about, and she began to just tell me everything. I'm like, you, you are beautiful, and you know, you're smart, and you can do anything. And don't let anyone in the school tell you differently. You have to see yourself different. Right, right, right. And don't take on that that behavior or attitude. And you know, throughout the years, her and I grew to become friends. Nice, uh -huh. nice, beautiful, mm -hmm. Ooh, be stunningly gorgeous. Wow. Baby, this, her skin is, I've never seen nothing like it. She's so, she's gorgeous. She's wow. actually a, 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 a soror of yours. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. awesome, and she awesome. went off to college and, uh, you know, Pledge, AKA, and very successful right now. And uh, she DM'd me some wow. time ago and just told me what that meant to her. Oh, my Aww. God. Wow. Aww, that's so that's real good. That's why you're Shirley Chisholm. <laughs> <laughs> You fight for the people, right? Yeah, she fight for the people. Fight for the people, right? Fight for the yeah, people. I do. Uh, and so, so, but, but on the flip side of that, I have to thank. I know. Uh, Ernestine Boyd, who is uh, a soror of mine, and uh, she was my eighth grade teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, listen, I was tough. I was a little tough at times. I talked <laughs> a lot, mm, talking all the time. So, <laughs> but she was very, um, very assertive with how she handled me. She was extremely smart, uh, loving, but you, you, she had an, uh, uh, a level of authority to her that I respected a great deal. And through the years, her and I became friends and yeah. still are friends to this day. Wow, but seeing her and how she was poised and handled herself and taught and taught with integrity and passion and love made me fall in love with her. Mm -hmm. She's one of the reasons why I became a Delta. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. absolutely. Hey, you understand, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, okay, well, then. I have um, two people that I want to highlight today because um, I talk to them all the time. They're fans. They started off as fans mm. that uh, became my friends, mm -hmm. actually. Um, one woman's name is Diane Bonner. Mm -hmm. um, I used to have this. I have a uh, when I created Sheilin Life. I had an ambassador program, and she was one of the the women under the ambassador program and I put her on a, a, um, a meal plan and she did she followed my workout my digital workout to a T the mommy's got so digital workout she lost 70 pounds wow, wow. Selena there she is oh wow yes, yes honey oh, wow. Diane oh, Bonner wow. and, and I'll tell you she re-inspires me because she has kept on, it off Diane. for like three years that's fantastic oh, and so when I look at her every day I'm like she turning up. I can gain back this way. I got to turn. Look, yeah. look oh, at her. No. So that's me and her, like alongside each other when I lost my weight and it inspired her. Yes. And so I'm, I just wanted to highlight her today because um, she's always encouraging, not just from a fan point of view, but just a woman. You know what I'm saying? She's from London. And then there's Glenn Whitcroft who I've known since MySpace. Mm -hmm. oh, come oh, on, MySpace. MySpace. My space. The, the kids don't know nothing yes. about the MySpace. Now, Glenn, um, the he my started space. his weight loss journey uh, a couple of years ago, and Salisha and I were uh, working out. He's lost 125 wow. pounds. Wow, my God. That's my friend Glenn now, and I call him friend. I don't call him fans anymore. And now I've inspired him to do hot Stop yoga. Stop the presses. Is that Glenn? That is Look Glenn. Glenn. I Shut have inspired him to do hot yoga, so now he is teaching hot yoga. <gasps> That's I am so proud of Glenn. Yes. And, and again, they, you never know who's never, watching. Never who's but watching. when I see them, it re-inspires me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it teaches me that you never know who's watching. Mm -hmm. And you also have to 
keep going too. Like when you see moments like that, or you see uh, people that are, are looking at you and, and they're keeping going because they're thinking that you're muscling up every day. Really, sometimes you wake up and you're tired. Mm -hmm. You gotta go look at them mm -hmm. to keep going. Mm -hmm. So I just wanna say, I just wanted to highlight them today and say thank you and I'm proud of you and you guys are Superstars. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Tree Bean? I'll go after you. Okay, real quick. <laughs> so there was a, a DJ that I used to um, um, host Clubhouse down in Atlanta. It was the, in uh, Underground Atlanta. And he was the setup DJ. His name was DJ J1. He used to set up for Cowboy, right? So mm -hmm. he wasn't on the radio then, and I used to host the club. He was like, hey, Rashawn, put me on, put me on, put me on. So I was like, give me your tape. So I took his tape to the mix show DJ, who was DJ Empress Cersei, who I did the morning show with. He ended up mm -hmm. coming and doing the, uh, the holiday mixes, mm -hmm. which you know, he kept doing that. I, he eventually got a job as the assistant program director, became the program direct, director somewhere else, I think in Cleveland, and now he is actually the head of hip hop at Pandora. And because, wow. yes, wow. And because I took, I, I thank God for uh, allowing him to use me to help that man's career catapult. And he talks about me in many articles that he is interviewed for because I took a chance on him and said, let's go. And he's Look just, he's a, and I got a chance to see him at one music fest. I don't have the picture. I wish I could show Jeez. it, but we'll show it later. So go ahead. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Shout out J1. I love you, man. I love you, love you, love you. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> First of all, I have to say, my, my mother will always constantly and consistently be my motivation. Right. Just through life. I just got to shout at my mother at all times. Yes. I said I wasn't. See, I was hoping it was going to run out of time because I wasn't trying to tell. It. But there was this young lady, and I'm not going to say your name to protect your privacy. There was this young lady, and she has been in a relationship for a very long time, and she just really could not let go of. She loved him. She just loved that man, and she said that when she watched me and watched how I went through. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. What I went through. Uh -oh. Mm -hmm. Gabe, mm -hmm. my my sons. She said she totally given up on life and love. Mm. And she said she saw my story and it inspired her. Oh, funny and she said, not only did I save her life, wow. She said I saved her hope and love. Oh, oh so, my God. I'm very excited. Right? Thank you. Uh, no. See how y'all be doing this to me? <laughs> Kevin spent all the time on my makeup. Oh, yeah, it's okay, yeah, Shabby. Shabby. You had your nose together. <laughs> yeah, you messed it up. Yeah, he Michael Jackson. Yeah. 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 And just, like, just like Selena said, you never know who's watching. You never know what people are going through. So speak life mm -hmm. into the people you encounter. We want to hear from mm -hmm. you. Please tell us your story at Sister Circle TV. We'll be right back. Yeah.